First look at Oxygen OS 10 based on Android 10 by Amog running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video and in this video, we're going to have our first look at Oxygen OS 10 based on Android 10 by Amog running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. So this is how Oxygen OS 10 based on Android 10 comes out of the box. OnePlus launcher is baked in along with OnePlus Recents and if you want the options for the application in the Recents, just click on the three dot menu on the top right of the application and you will get the options which are applicable for that application. Next thing, the volume panel has been fixed. It is on the right hand side. Do note that on OnePlus devices, it is on the left side, so that has been fixed. Another thing which is fixed is Reboot to Recovery from the Power Menu. So if you have enabled the advanced options, you will be able to reboot into recovery from within Oxygen OS. As for the quick setting tiles, these are the quick setting tiles which come baked in out of the box. And you do have Zen Mode and Screen Recorder in the building. Zen Mode click on it and then you can choose for how much time you want to not use your device click on this drop down icon and you can start from 20 minutes and go up till 60 minutes do note that once you enable zen mode you will not be able to disable it or get out of it so again make sure you are ready to not touch your device for whatever time you have chosen to in that drop down as for the applications which come baked in, these are the applications which come baked in. You have calculator, OnePlus camera, the Chrome browser, clock, OnePlus contacts, file manager, you have two different file managers. Then you have OnePlus gallery, you do have game space, Magisk was installed when I rooted the device. You have OnePlus messages, OnePlus notes application, OnePlus phone, the play store, the recorder, settings and weather. The keyboard which is baked in is google keyboard we can open magisk manager and have a look at the safety net so the safety net currently fails however there is a way to fix it which is of course linked in the pinned comment on this video we can now move over to settings and have a look at the major customizations which come with oxygen os 10 based on android 10 on the poco f1 nothing much to talk about in wi-fi and internet you do see NFC, doesn't mean that NFC was added. Poco doesn't have the hardware for NFC. So just ignore that option. Moving over to display, you do have adaptive brightness and it works absolutely fine. As you can see, the slider is moving back, which means adaptive brightness is working. Then we have screen calibration. You can choose between vivid, natural and advanced. In advanced, you have three different options. AMOLED wide gamut, sRGB and display. P3, not sure if the AMOLED wide gamut works on the POCO F1 or not because we do have a LCD display. Then, yes, we have the option to hide the notch. So if you go into notch display and say hide the notch area, bam, everything will shift down, including your status bar icons and you can now hide the notch. If you prefer to use the notch area for the system bar icons, then you can click on show the notch area next up you have apps to display in full screen so you can choose whatever applications you want to display in full screen you do have night mode reading mode video enhancer ambient display is not working on the poco f1 then you have font size you can configure the font size and display size you can configure the display size to your liking then you have customization for the status bar whether you want to see the battery bar or not and what is the style you're looking for you can choose between bar circle and battery hidden then if you want to see the battery percentage you have a toggle for that as well you can display the network speed in your status bar toggle for that as well what is the time format you're looking for and if you do not want to see the time just click on do not show this icon and you can also configure what all icons you want to see in the status bar by using the toggles beside each of the icon name and you also have auto rotate screen and while we are in display do note that double tap to wake is working on this latest build of oxygen os 10 for the 
POCO F1. Then we have customization. So you have the option of choosing between three different themes. You do have a dark theme, which is working absolutely fine. Then you can configure your wallpapers. You can choose between the pre-installed wallpapers and you do have some OnePlus Live wallpapers also baked into this ROM and they work absolutely fine. Then in customization, you do have the option of choosing your accent color. These are the different options. Right now we have the accent color as blue. Let us change it to red. Click on the check mark button on the top right and bam, there it is. You can see that our accent color changed to red. You can also change the tone. So you can choose between colorful, light and the dark tone. And you can also configure the shape of the icons. You can choose between these different various styles. So you have round, square, teardrop and round rectangle. Right now we have round, we can choose teardrop, check mark button on the top right and bam, there it is, the icons change to teardrop. Now you do have a few icon packs baked in. So you have one plus, then you have round, then you have square and you click on more. You can download icon packs from the Play Store and then any third party icon pack which you download from the Play Store will show up here in the icon pack option you can also choose between two different fonts you have the default android font and the oneplus slate font in the customization options if you go into sound and vibration nothing much to talk about over here but if you go into phone ringtone and vibration you can set a different ringtone for each sim card if you enable this toggle right now i do not have any sim card inserted which is why the options are grayed out and you can also configure your vibration intensity. You can choose between light, medium and strong and they work absolutely fine. Next up we have buttons and gestures. We'll skip over alert slider because the POCO F1 does not have an alert slider. However, if you go into navigation bar and gestures, you can choose between three different styles of navigation. The first one is what we are using right now where you have the three buttons and the navigation bar at the bottom. Once that is enabled, you click on navigation bar customization. You can swap the back and recents button if you want to. You can hide the navigation bar if you want to. And you can also add long press and double tap actions for each of these three buttons. So you can have a double tap and long press action for the back button, the home button and the recent button. If you do not like the old school Android gestures, then you can use navigation gestures, which is Android 10 gestures, of course. You can hide the bottom bar if you want to, which is this guy over here, the small line which you see. And if you scroll down, you can learn these gestures if you want to, but basically swiping from either edge will take you back. This is how gestures are implemented in Android 10. And in case you want to use OnePlus implementation of gestures, then use this one which says navigation gestures and in bracket bottom, the only difference being that swiping from the bottom right or left will take you back so these are the three different kind of gestures which you can use in oxygen os 10 then we do have quick gestures and quick gestures you have flip to mute three finger screenshot bam there it is working like a boss raise to answer double tap to wake is working and of course i think i did give you peeps a demo but here it is double tap to wake is working and i think this toggle is redundant as for the other screen of gestures, those are the ones which are not working and I don't think so they'll work. Then you have quick turn on camera. So pressing the power button twice will enable the camera application. And if you want a quick activate of the assistant app by holding the power button down for 0.5 seconds, that is something which you can do here as well. So that is it for buttons and gestures. Nothing much to talk about in apps and notifications. You have your normal screen time option, notifications, the default apps which you want to set and your app permissions. Then you have security and lock screen. So fingerprint is working absolutely fine. Pin and password is working. Face unlock is unfortunately not working. I know it is a bummer, but it is what it is. Then in privacy, you can go into permission manager and choose permissions for all the applications which you see on your screen so go into camera you can choose what all applications have access to the camera and what all applications do not have access to the camera in case you want to change any of that go into messages click on deny deny anyway go back and messages will move to the denied section that's all about permission manager 
next up we have location so this is something which google added with android 10 they want users to have finer control over their location enable the toggle for location access down here it will show you all the applications which have recently requested location access and in case you want to control what all apps have access to the location you can do so we have three different sections allowed all the time allowed only while in use and denied in case you want to move apps across different options open the application choose an appropriate option click on the back button and there it is chrome moved over to allowed only while in use section that's all about location in battery you can view the detailed usage in case you want to and you do have battery saver working absolutely fine along with battery optimization and your last full charge time so 35 minutes ago i did a last full charge and my screen usage since the last full charge is almost the same which is around 34 minutes in accounts you can configure your oneplus account and your google account digital well-being is something wherein you can configure or see how much time you spend on your phone if you want to limit access to certain applications you can set your wind down schedule configure your notifications configure your do not disturb and in case you want to see the digital well-being app in your application drawer just enable this toggle and that will do that then we have utilities in utilities you have quick launch parallel apps which is similar to dual apps in miui app locker which allows you to lock certain applications and you can do so by either choosing a pattern a pen or a password and in system we do have the option of usb otg in case you want to enable usb otg you have the toggle for that then we have game space so this is something which is similar to game booster in miui you can click on next click on start and this is the gaming mode click on the gear icon on the top right it will tell you what all settings you can customize for game space and if you click on this red icon this is how gaming mode is right so it will optimize your cpu it will optimize your gpu and it will optimize your ram however if you want to enable fanatic mode just enable this toggle this is what fanatic mode will do it will block all the notifications and calls it will restrict the background to boost your game it will stop the secondary sim to improve the network connection click on got it and bam there it is you can see that the display changed and now it is telling us what fanatic mode will do so other than optimizing your cpu gpu and ram you have advanced do not disturb enhance the process regulator and the network enhancement which was to turn off your secondary sim if you want graphic optimization you can enable this toggle as well there it is peeps those are all the features of oxygen os 10 based on android 10 running on the poco f1 as for the benchmark scores these are the benchmark scores which i got on this build and as i always say benchmark scores are never a true reflection of the performance of a custom rom do not judge a custom rom by its benchmark scores that will do it for this video i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you